A KI7 uh, WJP, this is K7 Sugar Whiskey. Yep, I'm hearing you. And um, I can hear you a little bit better. I'll talk a little bit longer to see if you're able to hear me now. How copy? Seven Sierra Whiskey, this is Kilo, or Kilo India 7 Whiskey. Do that with hey, Kevin, I heard you on that last one. Um, I think it might just be my audio. I'm running, I think, about four watts. Over. <laughs> All right, yeah, Eric, I got you. I copy you uh, very well. You are probably a five, 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 five here into Utah County. Sounds really good, and your audio sounds great. So no need to change there. Uh, my match is not so good on this antenna, so that might be a problem getting over to you. Uh, back to you, Eric. Hey everyone, welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio. Tonight, I wanted to talk about the Envis communication. And I, I know some of you have seen the preview that I put out just a couple of days ago, but this is a conversation that Kevin, K7SW, and I decided we want to put together this experiment. And near vertical incident Skywave is, is really important communication tool. Uh, emergency communication, backcountry communication, and, it, and it's also a lot of fun. And you need to experiment with this because you can cover short distances or cover regional areas using HF radio, not using repeaters, and have pretty clear communication. And it's radio to radio, and you can also do it with low power. Both Kevin and I were operating very low power. I was operating 5 watts um, that I hadn't figured out during the time of the production of the video, and Kevin was running about 12 watts, and he's pretty sure only about 6 watts was getting into his antenna. Anyway, we both set up our antennas for Envis communication. And my antenna at the feed point was at 13 feet off the ground. And my, my feed line or my legs of my dipole were up to about 20 feet off the ground. And this is my DIY dipole that you'll see in other videos. And I'll post a link to that video up here in the corner. Um, my link system wasn't very good during the time. And so I've improved that. But anyway, we're both running radio on battery power and QRP radios. And I'll show you Kevin's radio setup and antenna setup here in just a few minutes after this next segment of our conversation. But anyhow, this is my antenna. I'm running the Yesu FT817ND. All right, thanks, Kevin. I, I only got the last uh, probably one third of that, but, um, but you are coming through. I, I'm actually really impressed we're doing this with such low power at this hour of the day. Um, yeah, this is this is great. So um, the atmospheric conditions do seem to be uh, fluctuating a little bit for us. Over. Hey, thanks, Kevin. I, I only got the last uh, probably one third of that, but um, but you are coming through. I'm actually really impressed. We're doing this with such a low power at this hour of the day. Um, yeah, this is this is great. So um, the atmospheric conditions do seem to be uh, fluctuating a little bit for us. Over. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, what a great test for this first test using NVIS antennas <laughs> back and forth. I'm probably using a little more power, my 12 watts, and I'm probably only getting half of that out to you because of the way my antenna is set up. I'm not very good set up this way. And since you're not copying me fully, I'm not going to go on and on, but I thought I'd talk just long enough in case my signal goes up and down. Uh, back to you, Eric. Hey Kevin, that came through much, much better. So that's great to know you're operating such low power and we're doing so well. Um, and I, I actually, that last one, I had you at it about an S9. Um, I, you know, S9, but probably still somewhere between the three and the four as far as readability, but I mean, high quality, over. So that's great to know you're operating such low power and we're doing so well. 
that last one I had with about an S9. Um, I mean, S9, but probably still somewhere between the three and the four as far as readability. But I mean, high quality, however. Oh yeah, wow, while you were talking, your signal went way up and then uh, slowly back down. So obviously there's some QSB. So the fact that we're fighting that in whatever atmospheric conditions are going on and the fact that it's not quite dark out yet, I've got a light on me so you can actually see me in the camera. But um, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty impressive for 80 meters for a first try. I'd say that's a win. That is a win. I am so stoked because I, I don't know, but this is as far as Envis goes, communicating, what, 25 mi nautical miles apart, maybe less. All right, so that was 80 meters. We're gonna jump over to 40 meters here in a second, but I w really wanted to take a minute and show you some of the pictures that Kevin sent over uh, for his station. He's using Elecraft KX2, which is a really cool radio, enviable radio, and probably one of the reasons that my signal was coming through, through so clear on his radio was the quality of that radio. Now you can see his antenna here, also DIY, just a masterpiece. Uh, it's so cool to see his work. Uh, Kevin is an extra, an amateur extra, and he's got a phenomenal YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, check it out. Okay, so I disconnected my 80 meter legs and more or less left everything else in place. So let's jump into 40 meter conversation and you'll actually see the quality really improves for us. Well, um, I'm going to have to send you a short video of how ridiculous it is to, uh, to unlink the 80 meter legs so I can run 40 meters. Yeah, well, whatever you think, that's good. You have to see what the stuff is all about. Well, you sound really good here. You're probably a 5'5". Five, 5'5", five. Five, five into Spanish Park, Utah. And uh, not trying too hard, it sounds like. I think uh, running about 4 watts, whatever low 3 is on this radio, uh, I still need to read through all the manual. Just I read the, the first 10 pages. I just got it in <laughs> today. Um, you are coming in at a, a five and eight, uh, five and eight, which I mean, you're so much clearer on 40 meters, but it'd be interesting to go back to 80 meters, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to <laughs> go back to 80 meters to see how much better it is at this hour. Kevin, I am so excited, and uh, I, re I, I really appreciate you uh, setting up your radio tonight and, and, and your antenna. And so it's a big deal to set up in one of these 80 meter antennas. Well, Eric, you sound really good. You sound better on this frequency than you did on 80 meters. So um, this antenna is better for me on this band, but um, yeah, whatever you did on yours sounds really, really good. Yeah, well, whatever you did, that's good. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's what uh, that's what practicing this stuff is all about. Well, you sound really good here. You're probably a five 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 into Spanish Fark, Utah, and um, not trying too hard. It sounds like. Yeah, right? All that effort, especially when it's dark at night and uh, all the issues with that. Well, that's cool that you set that up. 
Um, I can see there's still a little bit of QSP, and I don't know what the solar index is or anything like that. I imagine that has something to do with it, because lately the bands have been pretty crummy. But, uh, well, that's cool. I'm glad you got out to do this test. And getting to do this with your new radio, that's even better. Yeah, Kevin, me too. I, I am so excited about how well this is working and uh, 80 and 40 meters and um, just solid. I mean, we, we're communicating and understanding each other and I think that's more than I could ask for. That's it. Uh, we'll call this a wrap. I'll call that <laughs> All right, sounds great. Well, um, next time you're out camping, I'll try to make it out so I can set up and we can do this again. So, uh, but yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think it is time for me to pack up as well and, and head back to the house. It's, it is uh, getting close to my bedtime. <laughs> so, well, uh, I th thanks again. And, and I'll, I'll wish you a good night and a 7-3, Kevin. Uh, uh, Kilo 7S uh, Sierra Whiskey from Kilo India 7 Whiskey, Julia Papa. That's it. Um, we'll call this a wrap, and I call that a huge success for your antenna and that new radio. It was an awful lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Thanks for reaching out and uh, well, doing this collaboration, getting to test out the Envis for our local area, our Utah testing, if you will, for communications. You never know when you're going to need that, and it's always a good time and a good thing to test these kind of antennas and radios out. So 7-3, catch you later. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate Kevin taking the time to help me out with this. It is not an easy deal to set up these 80-meter antennas. It's just a lot of wire, a lot of footwork traveling be between your, your points, especially of a dipole. And um, I hope all of you have learned a little bit of something about Envis communication. And really the benefit of this video is being able to see both sides of what that communication looks like from both radios, from both operators. And so I hope that you will go out and experiment. Um, anyway, please leave some comments below. Please uh, leave some comments too of stuff you'd like to see or how I can improve the channel. I'm really um, looking forward to hoping to make this thing grow. So please like this and please subscribe and please share it. And we'll see you down the trail.